Oh, no, how do you do that time? Pete let us down. Jordan Moore, John Jackson. And this segment of Trojans Live is brought to you by Allstate. The Trojans are in good hands with Khalil Rogers. A fresh pair of hands. Khalil, they've been keeping those hands warm. And, you know, you just never know when your name's going to be called. And, boy, it is certainly your turn. So why don't you take us back a little bit because everything sort of happened you know, when you get that second, third level of the depth chart, things yeah. sort of happen behind the scenes, at least from, from the fans' perspective. So, you know, what have you been doing? Because the last we saw, you know, you started three games at guard last season. All of a sudden, you're now a, a center. What was going on with that conversion in the last year? Uh, really just preparing each day. Um, I had my chance to uh, do what I had to do last year, and um, now they wanted me at center, and I worked at center, and it kind of worked out for me. But uh, just coming in the season, preparing uh, at center and guard, wherever they need me, uh, which Coach was saying earlier, like anybody's next man up. So I definitely took advantage of it. All right, well, take me through your mindset during the game. You see Toa go down, and you know it's on you, you know, the rest of the way. You know, what goes through your mind at that point? I mean, was it, you know, nerves, anticipation? Could you not wait to get in there? What's, what's going through your mind? Honestly, it's just like your time is now and you have to show. You have to show up for uh, your team, for your brothers, coaches, family. And uh, I definitely felt like it was my time to do it. So, Had you been keeping yourself ready every single game? I mean, that seems to me to be the whole key is that you, you don't know. I mean, I watch Max Brown every week, and he's yeah. wearing his baseball hat. But you know what? He, every game's relaxing until Cody were, were to go down, in which case he then becomes the most important person. Yeah. So, you know, that's obviously you watching Toa and yeah. watching Max each week. It's just definitely uh, the mindset you take uh, to it. Like Max, yeah, Max and me are kind of the same guys. Like we were just waiting. Um, anytime our name is called, you have to go out and execute. And um, that's what took the approach to uh, each week, game week. I always felt like I went out there and practiced as if I was a starter. So when you get that chance, you execute like a starter. You know, obviously the run game played such an important part of USC's success on Saturday. Yeah. But, it, you know, that Utah defense was supposed to be, that's what they were supposed to be able to do is stop the run. You know, you know, take me through a little bit. How how good were they? I mean, I know that you know, I know they were supposed to be good, but you guys, you know, made them look pretty average. Utah was definitely a great team, a great defense uh, to play against. But like Coach was saying earlier, like he, he put a few quotes in front of us earlier in the week, and it really got to us because we everybody know as Trojan football, we are physical, a physical team as USC. That's what uh, we're built on, and um, we took those quotes to heart, and we went out to practice and say, look. We're going to go out here, and we're going to do our best, and we're going to show the world how physical we are and play chosen football. You know, you probably have spent most of your time at center working with the twos and working with Max Brown and working yeah. with Sam Darnold. Is it going to help you this week to be the guy with Cody day in and day out and, and, and really start building that relationship? Obviously, it's such a great relationship with Max Turk, yeah. and, and now you're his guy. Uh, well, in practice, we uh, rotate with each QB, and um, I'm glad the uh, coaches decided to do that like throughout the whole season because it – there's really no building relationship uh, towards me and Cody now. It's kind of like, hey, you're here now, and let's keep rolling. So um, it's definitely a good experience that we have right now. Okay, well, I'm going to knock on wood here before I ask this question. You know, the, the center snaps this year, you know, even with, even with Max at the beginning of the year, they weren't all perfect. And then when Toa got in, he sort of struggled a little bit with the snaps. But the ironic thing is when you got in, which everybody sort of anticipated you were going to struggle with the snaps, all of them were, you know, right, right on point. You know, how tough is it to make the transition? I mean, we talked about from going from guard to center, but also making the snap in the shotgun and getting on top of their defender to try to block. It's just all about focus. Um, like in training camp and uh, in practices, we all have troubles with our snaps. But when you have to play for your brother and that you know you're going out there and fight for your team, you're going to do what you have to do to uh, make it happen. Well, if people don't know Khalil, he's from Delaware. Yeah. Did, you, did you grow up in Delaware? Born and raised. That's a very small state. <laughs> it is. Yep. <laughs> what city? Now, I'm from New Jersey, okay. and sort of Delaware is sort of like the bottom of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> what What city did you rep? Like, who did you grow up rooting for? You know, uh, I was always no a Philly, teams in Philly Delaware. Philly so you're a Philly guy. Yeah, Sixers, okay. Eagles. And then you were high school teammates with Kenny Bigelow. Yeah. But your high school didn't couldn't even play football your senior year because nobody w would want to play you guys. What was the story there? Uh, we <laughs> want to <laughs> <team. We're> <laughs> show up in Delaware. <laughs> You're like, this is not Delaware football. Uh, yeah, we just uh, a very good team that year, and um, a few teams just decided to quit on us. They didn't want to play. <laughs> so. uh, was that frustrating for you? That you, I mean, uh, it, um, it sort of. I, it's been talked more about with Kenny. I remember when yeah. he came in, they were like, you know, he doesn't have a lot of football under his belt. It definitely wasn't frustrating. Uh, I had the Army game. Uh, later that year, so I had a chance to prove myself there. So I wasn't really focused on uh, the short season. Is Joe Flacco from Delaware? 
He went to college. He's, he's not. He's not from Delaware. He went to college in okay. Delaware. Yeah. Not that though, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that's you know, you yeah. look. You're trying to be the next great Delaware football player. I mean, I feel like Flacco's the only yeah. one in your way. Now, how much pride do you take in being the first player from Delaware to start at USC? It, it means everything to me. Um, just coming where I, where I come from, um, just being through everything I've been through, and your time to go out there. And represent from where you're from is just it's amazing feeling. I heard it's repping the 302. Is that a, is yes, that the right way? <laughs> What's the Delaware state <laughs> motto? Do we know what, what was it the uh, what kind of state was it? What, what do we know the about Delaware? State. The Diamond State. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wait, you know what? He was the number one ranked guard coming out of Delaware. Yeah. Now I know that it's probably because nobody wanted to step in front of him. <laughs> he just got. He just said, "Look, he's probably too good." Probably look good on that highlight reel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, Khalil Rogers is the man now, representing the Diamond State, and uh, we're in good hands with him. Forget two points for safety, trapped at 20%, because with Allstate, safe drivers with a good driving record can save up to 20% on car insurance with a distinguished driver discount, and that's on top of other discounts. So don't wait. Call the Sailor Allstate Agency Insurance Agency today. Thank you, Khalil. When we come Proud back, it's time, to, it's time to talk some hoops, JJ. It's about time. Tony Bland is in the house. We're going to talk about the Trojans when we come back on Trojans Live.